Hi everyone, it's Ben from Trek Kit and we're out here at the sand dunes at Oxwich Bay. We've got Oxwich Bay over there, looking beautiful out. There's a spaniel clinking his collar. In today's video, we're going to give you an inside look into the Fjarovan Singi Stuben, hoping that that's the correct pronunciation for that. The word Stuben means the tree stump in Swedish. We're going to run with it throughout this. I'll call it the Stuben. It might be the Stubben, but I'm going to go Stuben. Over the course of this video, we will go through the features, what it's made of, where we think it's ideally suited to be used and just everything we like about the pack and anything else you might need to know. So stay tuned. First and foremost, what is the Stuben? Well, Stuben is Swedish for stump, which should give a little bit of an indication as to what they think this bag should be used for. Essentially, this is both a 27 litre pack, 27 litre rucksack, but it also functions as a seat. I would be sat on it in this section to show you that, but then I couldn't show you the pack and some of the features, but we will throw some B-roll in there of me sitting on it. Oh no. And how did Ben die? Hey, that. Essentially, it's a 27 litre pack that's majority in the main compartment, but it does have a few zipped pockets and things that is designed to be really heavy duty because of the G1000 materials and some reinforcements they've got on it but more for something where you might require a seat, so a slightly slower paced activity, you want to take it to the woods to do a bit of bushcraft and you've got something to sit on. If you're doing a bit of foraging, things like that, or just a slower paced walk where you might need a little sit down and you don't want to carry an extra seat, it's all built, integrated into this pack thanks to the frame inside it. So it is a little bit heavier than some others, but if you were to factor in taking a seat with you that you'd have to construct and the weight difference there, it's probably a little bit lighter than something like say a Singy 28, which would be the closest in capacity to this, and a, a lightweight camping chair, whether that be one from Nemo or from sort of anyone else that's small and lightweight, this will probably be a little bit lighter. So what's the Steuben made from? As with most Fjallraven products, it's made from G1000, and there are a few different flavors of that. This particular one is made from the G1000 Heavy Duty Eco S. The S stands for smooth, so it's got a slightly different weave to the material, which means it's gonna be more abrasion resistant than some of the other versions of G1000. So the G1000 is the Eco variant, and that means it's a 65% recycled polyester and a 35% organic cotton. That has all the advantages of G1000, which we do talk about a little bit in our G1000 explainer video, which there'll be a link to, but it does mean that you can wax this pack which means it will be highly weather resistant, so wind and water, and also it will help then with the longevity of the pack because by impregnating the fibers with wax, it will keep the pack going and looking fresher for longer. This is then in combination with a reinforced nylon base to the pack that is again, really abrasion resistant, but also helps with the longevity of the pack and is also a waterproof base. So you don't need to worry about popping this down on wet ground if you do want to use it as a seat. In combination with that, you have any of the zips on here are going to be YKK zips, which feel nice and chunky, really solid and reliable zips. You've got metal buckles and clasps on there, which really make this pack feel solid. And then nice sort of leather detailing running around both the top of the lid and that classic Fjallraven leather patch there as well. Really important part of any pack is the back system. The Steuben keeps things really simple and straightforward. So you have a chest strap, a sternum strap that does include a little whistle as well. And you get shoulder straps. That's pretty much it with this guy. It is designed to be super basic, but still adjustable enough that it will fit nearly everyone and is nice and comfortable. So you get a padded back panel that is still G1000. So it's going to be nice and abrasion resistant. And then the straps, are mesh backed with a little bit of cushioning to them. So it's comfortable, very simple, but you know, it just kind of works. So now the main event with something like the Steuben, obviously it functions as a chair. So you can sit down on it quite comfortably. It does take a little bit of balance because it's not the biggest seating area, but I can go completely off the ground and it comfortably supports my weight. It will take up to 150 kilos is what it's rated at. So unfortunately, Harry, on this occasion, you can't come and sit on my lap, but it will take up to 150 kilos, which is a rather large human being. You know, I'm six foot three and currently weigh about 93 kilos, probably with clothes on about 90, maybe 94. And it feels solid as a rock. The only thing that's unstable about it is the fact that we're sat on sand dunes. If you're on a slightly harder packed surface, you'd be good to go. You've got a really solid grab handle on the back there that's nice and reinforced so you can pick the pack up 
and just lug it around when you're not wearing it on your back. So the Steuben is actually from Fjarovan's hunting family. So there are a few features on this pack that lend itself a little bit more towards that. So you do have a YKK zip on the back. All of the zips on this are YKK, so they feel nice and solid. But you get a little orange cover with a bit of, bit of camo on it that clips into these points here on both sides of the bag. And you effectively have a high-vis top to the bag. Looks a little bit like a shower cap. So much like the rest of the Singy family, the Steuben has daisy chains running down the side of it. So you can modify this pack with some of the Fjaroven accessories or with your own. It means that you can put the side pockets on, things like that, which are accessories available separately. It means it's really adaptable, but otherwise it keeps the pack nice and clean and a little bit easier to handle. So there are two main pockets on the outside of this bag. So you've got the, the bigger one on the front here. Again, with that YKK zip, feels solid. Really useful for stashing quick access goods in. It's big enough for enough snacks, a small guidebook, you know, a knife, some sort of small accessories nice and easily. And then in the top of the lid here, next to the nice leather Fjaroven logo, you have a front stash pocket here, which is a little bit smaller, but is again, nice and easy to access. So good for storing keys, something like that in at the front of the pack there. So to access the inside of the pack, there are two main ways that you can get in. You have the metal buckle here, which is adjustable should you need to load a little bit more capacity which gives you access to the cinch top at the top of the pack. If I can actually get that there, so you can access it traditionally like a cinch top bag. There are a few things in here. They're not necessarily what we'd normally carry. It's just to stuff the bag out to make it look like we're carrying something in it. And the other way that you can open the pack, which most people probably tend to do, will be with the main front zips. So you can open the pack, it folds down, and then we've actually got Harry's sleeping bag on the inside of it there just to stuff it out. But it gives you a good idea of what's inside the main pack. One thing to mention with that is that if you keep the zips in the center where they were when I had this pack closed, you do have to undo the lid to be able to access them. So if the lid's closed like that, you can't access those zips. So it can be worth having the zips off to one side, something like that. So say you want to access a water bottle, you can unzip at the side, open, and access a water bottle without opening the main pack. So now we've lost the sleeping bag. This shows you the inside of the bag. So you've got the main compartment here, which is really good because it's quite squared off. So it'd be really useful for the photographers out there that want camera inserts and things to go into this bag. But it does show you a little bit of the frame on the inside. A little bit easier to show you from the top because we can roll this down a little bit. But this gives you an idea of the frame then. So you've got a metal frame that runs around the top and down the sides and into the base, which then gives you that rigidity to be able to sit on it along with a solid pad in the top there that means that you can sit on it without falling through the middle. So that's the Singy Steuben, a really reliable rucksack with that inbuilt seat that makes it ideal for hunting, fishing, photography, bit of bushcraft, really anything where you might like a seat carried with you. You know, there are really no rules to where you would use this pack but it is just comfortable and reliable to use for any activity where you're going to be sat down for a long period of time. If you'd like to learn a little bit more about the entire Singy range, be it the Steuben, the 28, the 48, and anything else from the Singy range that we have, there'll be a link down in the description. As always, we'd appreciate any comments that you have for us about this particular product, anything else you'd like to see on the channel, or any questions you have for us. We always appreciate them and we'll read them down below and it'll be Harry behind the camera who ends up responding to you. I think that's it from me. I'm gonna go off and explore the dunes a little bit more and we'll see you in the next one. You take care. Why? <laughs> oh no. And how did Ben die? <laughs>